Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another installment of The Locker Room. I am your host. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Reggie. Be sure to stick around to the end. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of good content coming your way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news out of Memphis. Now, if you guys don't know, Ja Morant and these Memphis Grizzlies, they continue to get into altercations with teams. Now, a few weeks ago, they got into it with Shannon Sharp, and things got pretty ugly at that Lakers game. Now, the NBA investigated a post-game altercation between Ja Morant's entourage and the Pacers. The Grizzlies star response. So the article goes on to say, the NBA recently investigated an altercation between associates of Grizzly star Ja Morant and the Pacers traveling party following an Indiana Memphis game on January 29th at the FedEx Forum. Members of the Pacers traveling party told the athletic that someone in an SUV that Morant was traveling in shined a red laser at them. They believed it was a gun, but the NBA said it could not corroborate that any individual threatened others with a weapon. Now this is from the NBA, quote, NBA security and league investigators conducted an investigation interviewing numerous eyewitnesses and reviewing video surveillance following allegations made by the Indiana Pacers organization regarding a postgame incident on January 29th. While we substantiated that a postgame situation arose that was confrontational based on interviews and other evidence gathered, we could not corroborate that any individual threatened others with the weapon. Certain individuals involved in the postgame situation and a related matter during the game that night have been subsequently banned from attending games in the arena. If additional information becomes available related to the postgame situation, the league office will conduct a further interview. Now, this was Ja Morant on Twitter. He said they did an investigation, seeing they were capping, still let an article come out to paint this negative image on me and my fam and ban my brother from home games for a year. Unbelievable. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we got to take a quick listen to what Shannon Sharp had to say. I wish Ja would realize that he's not a stug. Ja is a really, ja is a really good basketball player. Ja did everything he could to lift himself and his family out of this type of environment and to get away from this. And for some reason, he wants to surround himself with these type of people. Why? Bro, you not hard. That's not your life. People that in that life would give anything to be in your life. Great point. For some reason, you're worth 30, you're worth, all, you got a $200 million contract and you want people in the NBA to think you hood. To think you gangster mm -hmm. because you roll with these type of people, bro. You putting yourself in harm's way when you don't have to. Nobody looks at you, John. Think, man, that's a thug. He hood. <laughs> he down. He bought that. You not. Mm. Stop pretending. All you do is yap and talk about. Oh, I'm gonna let him live to see another day. I'm gonna do this. You're not gonna do nothing. What you're gonna do is get yourself in trouble, put yourself and your family in harm's way when you don't have to. Just play basketball. If you want to do all that chirping and all that about y'all good, how great y'all are, mm -hmm. even though your record indicate since you made your statement, Dylan Brooks made his statement, you've been awful, have at that. I got no problem. I, I wish you wouldn't talk so much considering mm -hmm. y'all talk so much to have done so little. That's a part of it. I get that. But this, 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 what you're going about, pretending like you, like you down like that, that you tote, that you carry, bruh, you putting yourself in harm's way, mm. and it's not a good look for you. Stop this, man! This is not you. You, you. I mean, you, you played basketball to get out of this environment. You could, hey, I guarantee you, you got homeboys. You say that's your fam. You tweet that that's your fam. That probably had talent like you, but they chose that life, bro. You need to let that go, cause that's not you. It's not. You pretend like you hard, but you're not, Ja. You opening yourself up. You're putting yourself in a position you don't even need to be in. And for what? For street cred? Come on, bruh. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are my thoughts on this situation? Well, I got to be honest with you, man. Um, I 100% agree with Shannon Sharp, man. Ja Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies, they're starting to get on my nerves. Um, like Shannon Sharp said, you know, we know you're not really about that life now. Obviously, 
you live in Memphis, right? You play in the NBA, you play for the Memphis Grizzlies, so obviously you're probably going to have a couple shooters around you, right? Um, I don't think the Pacers were capping. I do believe Ja Morant's people probably got them sticks on them, right? Because like I said, it's Memphis. I mean, they shoot for sport out there. So Ja Morant obviously protects himself, and I can see his entourage possibly doing some shit like this. Like, I don't think this was far-fetched. And like I said, I don't believe the Pacers would lie about that. So, listen, man, if I was John Morant, like Shannon Sharp said, I would just play basketball. All this acting tough, man, listen. Um, you play in the NBA, man. You went to college, right? Stop the BS, all right? Um, you ain't no gangster. Um... I get it, right? This is the NBA young boy era. A lot of you dudes grow up listening to the music. Y'all want to portray this gangster image, this gangster lifestyle, but we all know what is really going on here, man. Um, you're just being negatively influenced by a lot of the rap music that's out these days, man. But we know deep down inside Ja Morant, you're really a nice guy, man. So just stick to playing basketball, man, and leave the gangster activities for the guys in the streets, man. You got a shoe deal. You got millions of dollars, so leave that lifestyle alone. But that's pretty much all I got, ladies and gentlemen, on this topic. Do me a favor, come into the comment section down below and let me know what you think of Shannon Sharp pretty much blasting Ja Morant after the NBA did an investigation following an altercation against the Memphis Grizzlies and the Indiana Pacers. But yeah, this was another installment of The Locker Room. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace. school cool kids wasn't cool to me they never really liked me being hated isn't new to me but uh i get it cause when you're winning they isn't jealousy has no ending so pray the lord forgive them every day i gotta thank them for the blessings rumors about my life will i ever address them i don't know worry about your kicks my nigga and what are those <laughs> yeah we don't know music nowadays but y'all gotta be kidding me Lyrics was whack, gave them an A for his energy You tried, my nigga, I would tell you keep it up But the way my shit sound and I can't see you keeping up I'm the new leader of the new, new niggas Says a lot about you if you ain't fucking with us So go on and ask them who the greatest is And you can keep your two cents if you ain't paying the bills It's real